Friday and Saturday, August 8th and 9th. Well, first of all, it's my mother's birthday, but she's dead. So we'll just say happy birthday, Tilly, because I wouldn't be here without her, and she was a character. Now, that's a perfect entrance for me to tell you about these next two days. There is a T-square in the heavens. We have Mercury and Virgo right above my head. Boop. Mercury and Virgo, one degree, just entered. It means that our minds, Mercury rules the mind, is in a very clean, organized place. Mercury loves to be in Virgo. They love science. They love to organize. They love to think logically. And then squaring it right there is the moon in Gemini, exactly 90 degrees to it. Not so comfortable. In astrology, whenever there's 90 degree angles, it doesn't feel comfortable. The moon in Gemini makes us want to talk. Blah, 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 blah. Let's learn astrology on a video for three, four minutes. Okay, let's do it. And then squaring that opposite is Neptune in Pisces. This is what Neptune in Pisces is like. Whoa. So Mercury in Virgo is like, organize, organize, make a system. Neptune in Pisces is like, I can't remember where I put the piece of paper. And then Gemini is like, what did you say? What did you say? I got a new idea. I don't even want to talk about that. So in the heavens, is a little scattered energy. And the release of that T-square is Sagittarius which is the flavor of fun. So if I were to suggest to you this weekend, notice you might have a little bit of tension with that squaring energy, that T-square, that's just perfect. And the moon in Gemini gives us the chance to talk about funny things. Philosophy and spirituality and watching these astrology videos and reading those philosophical books and learning about meditation and doing our yoga, all of those are ways for the human mind to find some comfort from this experience on this planet that is so unbelievably confusing. Virgo pretends they understand. Pisces knows they're confused. And Gemini just keeps asking questions. That's the human psyche brought to you by mutable signs. And the release of all that is Sagittarius energy, which says, you know what? Everything is nothing and nothing is everything. Coming from my country, I'm here to tell you you're an idiot. But it's okay because everybody loves everybody who's they're being honest. And I'm being honest right now to tell you that astrology is the doorway to help you fall in love with the confusion and the unbelievable dynamics that occur inside of Virgo, Gemini, Pisces, and Sag. That's called the mutable cross. And as an astrologer, I'm here to teach you to not feel self-conscious when you watch your mind and mine and ours always trying to figure this place out and ending up with the truth is, it doesn't really matter as long as your heart's open. Write that down. It's in Leo. Make sure you have fun this weekend because all that matters is that your heart's open.